So here I'm going to show you two TRX exercises for your core. I don't say core because I want to include your abs, your obliques, your, your low back, and your glutes. Okay? First we're going to do the body saw, and then we're going to lead into a second exercise. If you want to sit on your butt, having the TRX close to the ground, you're going to twist this over to the left or the right, depending on which face, way you're facing. You're going to stick your feet in them nice and far. If you got big feet like me, you really have to stick them in. If you're small feet, it's good for you. Get them right in the center of your shoe. As you can see, it's kind of a pain. Flip over. That way, those two cables are even. Make sure they're even before you start. Otherwise, it'll be kind of annoying. Get your hands on a soft surface. In this case, we have an air pad. You're going to put your forearms flat down. Elbows a little to the front of the edge of it. Lift up. Get into a plank position. Don't let your hips sag. Don't let them come up too high. Your chin. You're going to push back with your elbows until you're almost in Superman position and pull back in through your elbows. Notice my hands are coming together. That actually gets the serratus anterior activated. And again, my hips do not sink down. My abs are tight and they pull in a little. So you're going to do this as much as you can. This obviously is not a beginner exercise. But if you do have a beginner, you can pull it back a little and have them just do smaller ranges of motion. Okay? The second exercise we're going to do is a jackknife. You can do this on a Swiss ball or on TX, or you can even do it on a slide board. But this one is actually pretty nice. So you need to get up again into that plank position. Your hands are flat in a push-up position because if you were down in your forearms, you wouldn't get good enough range of motion. You're going to bring up your knees to your chest, but notice I'm not doing this. You want to keep that thoracic spine, lumbar spine in a good position. So you're crunching up and coming out into a stiff knee. When you're in the stiff knee position, you're using a lot of your core. When you're like this, you're using a little less and it's pulling on your back. So you can do it two legs at a time, or you can do one leg at a time, kind of come off to the side, or you could even run with it, make it a little bit of a cardio exercise.